Welcome to the entire Retro WWE Wrestling Figure Line. Back in 2016 at the San Diego Comic Con, WWE and Mattel teamed together to produce the Retro Wrestling Figure Line. In total, we would see 44 action figures produced by WWE and Mattel on the Retro Figure Line. It spanned from 10 series from 2017 up to 2019. So here we go with Series 1. The very first series of the Retro Line included some absolute legends of wrestling mixed with some of the modern guys. So we got John Cena, Brock Lesnar, Kevin Owens, Roman Reigns, Ultimate Warrior and a purple outfit Undertaker. So the figures are the same size as the WWF Hasbro line and to be honest with you, when they all came about, they were pretty awesome. I'll just show you the backings. I will say for this series, Kevin Owens and Roman Reigns, they were more of a US exclusive and they were very hard to find in the UK. And in fact, for me, I had to import them from the USA thanks to a few good friends. Roman Reigns there. He's the only one to have the punch, uh, the punch action as well throughout the whole series, so... That was quite unique. Looking on now at the figures, got John Cena, Roman Reigns. John Cena there, you'll see it again with the Ultimate Warrior. That is arm. It's like a body movement, like a press slam. Kevin Owens, that's more of like a headbutt, like Andre the Giant from Hasbro's. Brock Lesnar and The Undertaker, they had the traditional press slam. See it there again. It's quite a common trend for the retro series, should we say. And my absolute hero, Ultimate Warrior. So the body moves. It reminds me of Series 1 from Hasbro. So there's Series 1 from WWE Mattel Retro. On to Series 2. On to the second series of the action figures, and I call this the Attitude Era series because all the guys on this video here in Series 2 are from that era. So you got Mankind, Stone Cold, Kane, The Rock, Sting, and Triple H. So think 99, 2000, and there, that's what you've got. Again, I was very excited to receive Series 2. Easier to find than Series 1, I thought. Um, features some absolute legends. One thing I would have changed, I would have added a belt to Kane, a little black belt, because I've never seen him without it. A good thing was The Rock didn't have his tattoos like what he has now, which is, he's cool with them, don't get me wrong, but back then he never, so they did get that one right. On to Triple H, I will say there is a number of errors and variants to him, where part of his trunks and gloves are missing, and Makes for a nice error card collector piece, should we say. It's a jumping action from Triple H. Again, with the rock is a press slam. Or similar. Got the Brahma ball on his trunks. Yeah, as I say about Kane, he didn't have the black wrist, uh, the waist belt. But, you know, it's still a good effort. Sting. Reminds me of the Crow Sting in WCW. You notice that the feet on the jumpers are bendy compared to the house bros, which weren't. Stone Cold Steve Austin, why wouldn't you have him? He was absolute class and a great effort. And a bit more chunkier, they got it right there with Mankind. Great figure, should we add. Could even do the mandible claw. Series 3 was absolutely everywhere. You could find it in every shop. If you couldn't find Series 3, you weren't looking correctly. With them, you've got Seth Rollins, Goldberg, AJ Styles and Dean Ambrose. Also, they added a little stand plate, which to me was absolutely stupid. Why would I need that? So another jumper there from Seth Rollins. Yeah, you just see how he stands on that little stupid platform. <laughs> and also, there's like a little... Video game you could play on your mobile phone, 
where you scan in the QR code and go along with it there. See, it's got it all there on the packaging and it's advertised on the back. Goldberg could have been better from this series, I thought. Good to see a Goldberg, don't get me wrong, but I wanted a big juiced up Goldberg, you know, doing a suplex or something different. He wasn't a jumper, let's put it that way. Didn't do the jumping action. So there's what we got on the back of the cards. Taking you a look through, giving you a look through there. Who's your favourite from this series? Quite like AJ personally. Very good action figure. And Dean Ambrose. So there's series three, guys. Onto series four now. Going from series three onto series four, the first thing we us collectors noticed was how hard the series were to find. So you got Sami Zayn. Kevin Owens in a different ring attire, Finn Balor and Ric Flair. Ric Flair is an absolute classic because you think he does a clothesline action where in fact he does the Ric Flair chop. Again, you had the little stands and that's the difference actually I will say between the two Kevin Owens from Series 1 and Series 4. Series 1 is much rarer to find. Just flip the cards over for you on the back. Again, some of these are creeping up in value. You know, it's, what, three, four years since they were about, so keep hold of these guys. Nice to see. Some great figures. I will say the Sami Zayn has like a kicking motion with his leg, which was a new feature made by WE Mattel. So Series 4 was a great series, on to Series 5. Here we have it, the new day. So first we have got Xavier Woods, Big E, Kofi Kingston and a rare version of the Macho Man Randy Savage. So you'll see in the packaging on there is two arms are down where the other version here one arm is up. I do not know why this happened but for some reason it made for both variants, errors, whatever you like and thankfully I have both. Nice work on Woods there with the feet. Great looking New Day set. Shame they weren't released in a tag team set, should we say. Give me an example of some of the movements he did. Macho Man in his NWO attire. Flipping the cards over to the rear. Again, Series 5, honest to God, at first you thought, oh, I'm going to find these with these, but no. I think Macho Man had to order from the USA. So the US, the UK got hit big time with these, and we never really seen them. Obviously, they were available, but not as much as we'd like. So just going on to the back, the backing card gives a good example of how the action figure works. You'll see how that changed as we go along. And there we have it, the Macho Man. The two variants together. Onto the wrestling ring, similar to the WWF Hasbro style, you got your sticker in the middle, your ring ropes, and of course, your commentator's table and your steps. They do come apart, unlike the WWF Hasbro ring and the ropes, I thought. They're a lot easier to use as they came as a package with the turnbuckles. Onto the box, example of what we have. Some of the figures you could order. So this was about Series 5 when the, the wrestling ring came about. And sadly there was no wrestling belt for the entire series. So that's a wrestling ring. Maybe we should have added a cage because I always wanted one for the Hasbro ring. Quick glance underneath. And there it is, the WWE Mattel Retro Wrestling Ring. Quite a hard thing to find now. They weren't at the time, they were quite easy to get. Series 6, here we have it. A repurposed version of Sting, the Red Sting. We've got Daniel Bryan, which is a nice addition. Shinzo Nakamura, and of course Bray Wyatt, the find. <laughs> There we have it, Sting. Brian there. 
Nakamura's figure is really cool to have. Easily available i4 Series 6. What a great action figure. Bray Wyatt is uh, full of detail, and that's how you want it. You know, something fresh, something new. Series 6 is good. Fairly easy to find again in the UK. Just flipping them over on the back there, just so you could see what we have. Still had your little mayhem playable wrestling game, showing you what each action figure does with their own little identical move. And there we have it, Series 6 of the WWE Mattel Retro Figures. Series 7, you got HBK, Sheamus, Kurt Angle, and Chris Jericho. Sad thing with Jericho is his scarf never came off. We never really got the accessories WWF Hasbro gave us, and that was a letdown, really, because Kurt Angle could have came with his medals. You know, there's all sorts of wrestlers, no belts. You know, we needed that. Sheamus, look how small them legs are. Great figure, but could have been better. That's for sure, Michael, as well. That head sculpt is absolutely dreadful. Looks more like Rob Van Dam. <laughs> Although he does give off the sweet chin music in the action figure world, so <laughs> just flipping them over onto the backing cards. And now you could see where WE Mattel changed things about here, and they were focusing more on the game. See, you've got the Mayhem playable game where they should have had the action figure and what they did, because to me, I collect the toys. I'm not really interested in the mobile phone. I've got a mobile phone. I could do that any time. Series 8 then. We've got Braun Strowman. Great action figure. Looks big, bulky, how it should be. Zack Ryder. Who would have thought he'd have got an action figure, hey? <laughs> Jeff Hardy. And a retro Iron Sheik from the 80s. Cool addition, nice footwear, nice bodywear. Jeff Hardy's always cool to have. Zack Ryder, super happy. Sadly, Brian Myers never got one. Should have. Have a word, Vincent Mann. And Braun there. So I'll just flip the cards over again. Just give you a quick look. Series 8 was a good little series. Again, I would have added some accessories or something. Just... Give you that extra bit of bite, get you collecting, get you talking. Quite a bit of repurposing going on as well, but hey, that was the figures. That was Series 8. Series 9, the quite hard to find line, should we say? Yeah, definitely getting harder to come by now, Series 9. We have Goldust, Randy Orton. Samoa Joe and the Macho Man Randy Savage and Green Trunk should be had. That's always a nice thing because the Series 1 Macho Man for WWF Hasbro was meant to come in Green Trunks. Cool looking Samoa Joe there. Randy Orton full of tattoos. Goldust. Absolute classic action figure. And nice accessories, you know. The hair does come apart as you can see. That's what we wanted. We didn't want much more. Just something simple. Great action figure and the, the facial expression. Brilliant. So now I will just flip over the cards to give you an inkling what was on the back. Totally different to the WWF Hasbro backing cards. It was all black and white back then. So here we go. Series 9, the backing cards. There we have it. Your four action figures from each line. Maybe there should have been six action figures from each line. Would have made more fun. And sadly, Series 10, where it all came to an end. Ended quite abruptly, really, because we were expecting more than next minute. Come about, no more was happening. Woken Matt Hardy. Elias with a guitar. JYD. And Diesel. It was cool having a diesel action figure because us collectors waited, what, 25 years for that? 
Junkyard Dog, absolute legend. The guitar makes the Eli figure that extra special and it is breakable. Cool headshot, Matt Hardy. I'd love to see a ta tag team series with Matt and Jeff. But hey, that's wishful thinking. Very hard to find series 10. Again, one or two of these came in from America and helped from my friends. So there's your diesel action figure, the black glove, the sunglasses, the slick back hair. Maybe it could have been better. Hey, it could have been worse. We could not have got one. I'm very grateful for that. So I'll just give you a quick glance on the back. That's pretty much everything for the video. I hope you've enjoyed it. I really did enjoy collecting the WE retro figures. I hope they do fetch it out again. There is a slim chance. If they do, first thing I want is accessories. Second thing I want is more retro guys from the 90s. And diesel. We need another diesel. So thanks guys. Thanks for taking a look. That's the entire WWE retro figures. Stay tuned to the channel. We will have more coming up shortly. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. It means so much to us. As I say, when I get to the 150 mark of followers, I'll show you the WWF prototype action figures I have made by Hasbro. So take care of yourself, guys. I will see you soon and carry on watching wrestling. Goodbye for now.